Hey there, I've got a quick guide to help you add one of those cookie consent notices to your WordPress site. You know, the ones that you need to pop up and ask for people's consent before you drop cookies on their browser. Now, it's a thing in EU and we've got to play by the rule, so here's the scoop. I'm going to break down why it's important and how to do it. Plus, I'll share some tips on how Monster Insights can help you up your GDPR compliance game. Before we dive in, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you'll never miss another Monster Insights video. And while you're here, grab our free beginner's guide that demystifies GA4. It explains the key reports and it's going to help you understand your site's traffic. Let's go to monsterinsights.com forward slash YTVIP to download your free copy. WordPress uses cookies to recognize logged in users, remember visitors who leave comments, and for a number of plugin specific purposes. But cookies can also collect and share user information with third party advertising platforms. Now, this is where the need for a cookie consent pop-up banner comes in. In Europe and some other regions, the laws require website owners both to tell users that they're using cookies on their site and to get their permission before setting any cookies on their device. So if your WordPress site has visitors from these areas, it's not just a courtesy, it's actually a legal requirement to display a cookie consent banner. Now, the good news is that adding a cookie consent pop-up to your WordPress site is really simple. You can use popular GDPR plugins like Cookie Notice or CookieBot. So whether you're a beginner or a bit more experienced with WordPress, these plugins are a great solution to display a cookie consent pop-up and comply with the regulations. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty, here's a quick heads up. Since websites and privacy regulations are constantly changing, there's no plugin that can guarantee 100% compliance. So to make sure that you're following all the rules in your area, it's a really good idea to chat with a lawyer who specializes in the internet law. So don't take this video as legal advice, okay? Great, now let's dive in. The first method that we're gonna look at is using cookie notice. Now this is the easiest and quickest way to set up a WordPress cookie banner. But first you'll need to go to the WordPress repository and install and activate the cookie notice plugin. Now, once you've activated it, it'll start showing visitors a cookie consent pop-up banner. While this message is okay for most websites, you still might want to take a look at some of the plugin options. So to do that, just head over to the cookies menu in your WordPress dashboard, and then scroll down to the notice settings section. Now you can customize the button tags in the message of the cookie consent pop-up banner. And if you want, you can also include a link to your privacy policy page. Now, if you haven't created a privacy policy page yet, then check out this post on how to create one. I'll leave a link in the description. With Cookie Notice, you can give your visitors the option to refuse or revoke consent to cookies. And if you'll scroll down just a bit to the design section, you can customize the banner position and the animation, the style of the banner, the button, and its colors. And if you use CSS, you can customize it even more. Now, once you're happy with how everything looks, you can just head to your website to see your cookies pop up banner in action. All right, now let's take a look at the second option, and that's CookieBot. CookieBot isn't quite as quick and easy as Cookie Notice because it has more customization options. Plus, you've got to set up a free account to get it set up. So if you're okay with that, just install CookieBot on your WordPress site. And once it's installed, you'll need to configure it. And unless you've already created an account, then you'll need to create one. So click on Create a New Account to get started and it will open the CookieBot website in your browser. Now just enter your email and password and go through the steps to finish setting up your account. Then you'll need to enter your website's URL in the domain name section and copy the domain group ID. Now once you've done that, you'll need to go back to the CookieBot setting on your site and then under the general settings, find the connect your domain group section and paste your domain group ID. Now there are other settings you may need to configure as well. So for instance, you can choose the language for your pop-up and set to auto detect by default, but you can change it if you want to. Then you'll want to make sure to select the cookie blocking mode. Automatic cookie blocking mode is recommended because it blocks all non-essential cookies until the user consents. And under the additional settings, you may want to enable auto update so you can stay current with any GDPR changes. You'll also want to activate the render cookie bot CMP on front end while logged in feature so you can test it to see the pop up even when you're logged into your site. 
All right, once you're done, don't forget to hit the Save Changes button. Okay, now it's time to customize your Cookie Consent pop-up banner. To do that, go back to your account on the CookieBot website, and under the Configuration tab, choose a template and customize how your pop-up looked and its position. Next, you may want to edit the default message in the Content tab to make sure it aligns with how you're actually using cookies on your site. And last but not least, you might want to update your website's privacy policy with a cookie declaration. Now, to do that, just go to the Privacy tab and then Declaration, and then Edit and add it to your Privacy Policy page. The default cookie declaration is pretty standard. But if your site uses cookies a bit differently, then you might need to upgrade to a premium CookieBot subscription so you can have more options. Now, you might be shocked to find that Google Analytics isn't automatically GDPR compliant. Now, this is where Monster Insights comes in really handy. Monster Insights takes the headache out of complying to privacy laws when you're using Google Analytics, and you won't have to mess with any code. Monster Insights seamlessly integrates with plugins like CookieBot and CookieNoted, so you can fine-tune your user experience and customize how you're gathering data. It anonymizes IP addresses, reduces a collection of data from your demographics and interest reports, it halts user ID and author tracking, and it sets up an AMP consent box and more. To use the Monster Insights EU compliance add-on, you'll need to have a Monster Insights Pro plan or higher. Now, if you need help installing and connecting your WordPress site to Google Analytics using Monster Insights, then check out our post on how to add Google Analytics to WordPress the right way. I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, after you're all set up, just add the EU compliance add-on. Now to do that, just go to Insights and then click on Add-ons and then find the EU compliance add-on and click the Install button. And that's it. It will be automatically activated. Now to make sure everything's working, just head to Insights and then to Settings and then click the Engagement tab. Now you'll see that the EU Compliance section is going to show you that the add-on is active. It anonymizes IP addresses for Google Analytics, it turns off demographics and interest reports, and it turns off user ID tracking. And you'll also see that Monster Insights works with Cookie Notice and CookieBot, so when you're using these plugins, Monster Insights is going to respect your visitor choices and follow the GDPR rules by waiting for your visitors to consent before triggering the Google Analytics script. Now, if you found this breakdown of how to add a cookie consent banner helpful, go ahead and smash that like button and hit subscribe for more tips on understanding your website's performance. Up next, you'll definitely want to check out this video where I'll show you our guide to Google Analytics cookie and consent in GA4.